Hi! Welcome to my channel. Kung bago ka lang dito ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mga tutorial videos. Today, we're going to discuss the cube of a binomial. But before we get into our new lesson, alamin muna natin kung paano kumuha ng cube ng isang number or ng isang term. 2 raised to the third power. So dito maraming nagkakamali kasi kadalasan ang ginagawa nila ay minumultiply yung base sa kanyang exponent which is wrong. So dapat multiply yung base 3 times to itself. Since yung ating exponent ay 3, kaya 3 times natin imumultiply yung base sa kanyang sarili. So bale magiging 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Okay, next. 3 raised to the third power. So, ganun din. 3 times 3 is 9. Then, 9 times 3, 27. 4 times 4, 16. Times 4 is 64. 2a times 2a, 4a squared, times 2a is 8a cubed. Then, 3a raised to the third power is 27a cubed. Then, 5a raised to the third power, 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125. So, 125a cubed. Let's proceed with our lesson for today. x plus y times x plus y times x plus y is also the quantity of x plus y raised to the third power. And this is a cube of a binomial where x is the first term and y is the second term. Example number one, the quantity of x plus y raised to the third power. So, how do we get the first term in the product? So, first step natin is cube the first term. So, ibig sabihin, x raised to the third power, x times x times x is x cubed. So, doon natin nakuha yung first term natin. Okay, next, 3x squared y. So, how do we get the second term in the product? So, to get the second term in the product, second step natin is trice the product of the square of the first term and the second term. So, sabi dito, trice the product. Ang ibig sabihin, multiply natin by 3. Alin ang imumultiply natin sa 3? Yung product ng square ng first term at second term. So, ibig sabihin, kunin muna natin yung square ng first term. Ano yung first term natin? x. So, x raised to the second power is equal to x squared. Then, multiply mo yun kay y, kaya nagkaroon na x squared y. Since, trice the product, multiply natin by 3, kaya po nakuha yung 3x squared y. So, ganito po. 3 times x squared y is equal to 3x squared y. Next, so 3x y squared. So how do we get the third term in the product? So third step naman natin class is trice the product of the first term and the square of the second term. Okay, so dito naman class, halos parehas nung second step natin. So, ang pagkakaiba lang, doon sa second step, in-square natin yung first term. Dito naman sa third step natin, ang i-square naman natin ay yung second term. So, kung y yung ating second term, y raised to the second power is equal to 
y squared. So, kapag nakuha na natin yon, pwede na natin siyang i-multiply kay first term at sa 3. So, bali ganito. 3 times x times y squared is equal to 3x y squared. Okay, step number 4. How do we get the fourth term in the product? So, to get the fourth term in the product, step number 4, cube the second term. So, y raised to the third power is equal to y cubed. Our final answer is x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3x y squared plus y cubed. Let's proceed with the number 2 example x minus 2y raised to the third power. Again, first step, cube the first term. So, bali, x raised to the third power is equal to x cubed. Okay, second step, trace the product of the square of the first term and the second term. So, square natin class yung first term natin. So, x squared, tapos multiply sa second term, magiging negative uh, 2x squared y, then multiply by 3, so magiging negative 6x squared y. And third step, trace the product of the first term and the square of the second term. And so, dito naman, ang square natin ay yung ating second term. So, bali magiging negative 2y raised to the second power. So, magkakaroon tayo ng positive 4y. So, positive 4y squared multiply sa ating 3x. So, magiging 12xy squared. So, bali magiging ganito, 3 times x times 4y squared positive 12x y squared. Pag nilagay naman natin dito sa ating third term ng ating product, so magiging plus plus 12x y squared. And then for our fourth term of the product, cube the second term. So negative 2y raised to the third power is negative 2y times negative 2y times negative 2y is negative 8y cube. So, bakit po naging negative pa rin? So, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And positive 4 times negative 2, kaya nakuha natin yung negative 8. For our next and last example, the quantity of 2a minus b raised to the third power. So, cube the first term. 2a times 2a times 2a is 8a cubed. Next, trace the product of the square of the first term and the second term. So, 3 times the quantity of 2a raised to the second power minus b is equal to 3 times the quantity of 4a squared times the quantity of negative b is equal to negative 12a squared b. Okay, third step. Trace the product of the first term and the square of the second term. So, 3 times the quantity of 2a times the quantity of negative b raised to the second power. So, 3 times the quantity of 2a times the quantity quantity of b squared is equal to 6a b squared. Ayan. And for our last step, cube the second term. So, negative b times negative b times negative b is equal to negative b cubed. Remember, the product indicates the cube of a binomial is equal to the sum of the four terms. So, first term, cube the first term. Second term, trace the product of the square of the first term and second term. Third term, 
tries the product of the first term and square of the second term. And to get the fourth term, cube the last term. Okay, so para naman dun sa ating quiz ngayong araw, pakisagutan nyo lang yung number 1 and number 2. Tulad ng dati, pakipost nyo lang yung video at pagtapos na kayo magsagot, pakiplay nyo lang uli. Okay, so check na natin. So number 1 is a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube. For number 2, a cube plus 6a squared b plus 12ab squared plus 8b cube.